Hello everybody, welcome to Relax Excel Tutorial. Today I am going to show how to install Zabbix on uh, Open Source Leap 42.1. Zabbix is a open source monitoring software for network and application. It is designed for monitoring and uh, tracking the status of various network service, servers and many more network hardware devices. Let me see how to install this on Open Source. Before installation of Zavix, you should configure the LAMP setup on uh, OpenSUSE Leap. In previous tutorial, we saw how to configure LAMP setup in OpenSUSE Leap 42.1. After installation of LAMP, let's go for the further steps. Now, first step add the repo file for uh, Zavix into your repository. Press Enter. Now it's successfully added into your repository. The next step install this Zabbix package and also hit dependency package. Press enter. Choose option A and press continue. Now the package is started for installation. Now press Y to continue. Next step, I'm going to create the database for Zabbix and also I'm going to give the grant privilege access for that DB. Open the MySQL shell terminal, type MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Enter the password. Now we log in into MySQL terminal. Okay, database here, type create data base. Zabbix iPhone DB. You can give any other name. For reference, I am going to give Zabbix DB. Press enter. The DB is created. Next step, I am going to give the grant privileges. Type grant all on. Enter the DB name. Zabbix DB two root user at local host and identified by enter the password for that user press enter now the grant privileges is successfully assigned for the TB next step Flush the privileges. <coughs> Press enter. Now that's it from this uh, MySQL shell terminal. Now exit this terminal. Next step open the configuration file of Subix. Type uh, Vim ATC Subix. Zabbix iPhone server. Press enter. Now I am going to change some setups here. Search MySQL DB name here. The DB name is presented here. Change your DB name as you are entered as you created before. After changing the DB name, come to DB user and give the DB user. Next step, change the password for DB password. After done this settings, save and quit this configuration file. Next step, again open the Subix agent configuration file. Type vim etc Subix Subix agent d dot con of press enter. Here, change your host name at below. Here, by defaultly, Zabbix server is there. You should change into your host name. My host name is Linux Help, and also server active IP is also fine, and server IP is also fine. No need to change that both settings. Now save and quit this configuration file. Next step. 
next step open the Zapix configuration file press enter this is the back Zapix corner file will be located I'm going to use I'm going to open through the editor press enter just make the configuration file as shown this setup you should configure like this after done this settings save and quit this configuration file now next step is now next step I am going to enable the Zabbix front end website press enter sure it is configured I already configured this now open this Zabbix corner.php file it was presented in uh, vim slash user share subix count of subix count of slash subix dot count of dot php example press enter here enter your db details as shown here you should enter your db name and uh, user and that user password now after done the settings save and quit this configuration file and next step I am going to restart these services first I am going to restart the Apache service type system ctl restart apache2 dot service plus enter after it has after restarting the Apache service, now restart the MySQL. Press enter. Now the MySQL service restarted. Next step, restart the Zabbix server. Press enter. Now restart the Zabbix agent. press enter now it's restarted before start installation of uh, subix open the configuration file of uh, php.init press enter I'm going to change some settings in this file search execution max execution press enter here the change the max execution into 300 and come down change the max input into 300 next is search next is search mix search post press enter here change the post max size into 16 MB after done this setting save and quit this configuration file why I changing this means this setup is necessary to installation of Zabbix otherwise it will show error during the installation now save and quit this configuration file again one again one time restart the Apache service now open the web browser enter your server IP or hostname along with suffix directory press enter now now the installation page of suffix will be open click next to continue here the PHP status will be shown here all service will be ok click next to continue here fill your DB details and test the connection I have entered my DB details and click test connection to check your DB is connecting or not here your DB is connected test connection was ok now click next here the host name your local host will be shown here and port number also shown here mention the installation name this is optional I am going to type here type Zabbix Linux help you should enter your own installation name 
after done this settings now click next now check the configuration as you are entered click next here the config php configuration file for uh, zabbix is missing just click this configuration file to download click ok now it's downloaded copy the file which was presented in download location and uh, open the file it was presented in download directory and copied into following directory here the path is mentioned here you should copy the Zabbix PHP configuration file into this location go to the download directory CD home user downloads here the Zabbix PHP file presented here I am going to move the file into move the file configuration file into this location press enter now the file will be moved into that location now come to this installation page now click retry now it successfully installed click finish to complete the installation now enter the username and password so default username is admin and password is Zabbix now we successfully log in into Zabbix server here you can see the Zabbix Linux help this is the installation name and this is the dashboard of your Zabbix server you can see your Zabbix server is running a number of hosted details will be shown here system and host status also shown here and you can set the graph also by default there is no graph click to add graph here you can easily monitor your server by using this graph analyzer I am, for example I am going to choose memory usage and the swap usage if you want to add more means you can add more graph click select now it successfully added click Zabbix server memory usage now the memory usage graph is shown here we know only I installed this Zabbix server that's why there is no variation in this graph if you use this Zabbix server you lot means it will show some variation in this graph monitor, by the way you can monitor and analyze this Zabbix web server through the help of this graphs and more options will be presented in this subic server if you want to add host means you can add host and monitor the host by using this subic server this is the method to install subic server on OpenSUSE 42.1 it is very easy to install enjoy watching this tutorial thank you for watching